So Nvidia's entry-level mobility graphics lineup has not been updated for a while, and the only traction that we got to see recently was the high-end Max-Q variants. And this will soon be changing as there are plans underway by Nvidia to introduce a new replacement to the most entry-level Pascal chip or better known as the GeForce MX150. The GeForce MX150 has been widely popular graphics chip for mobility platform. Now it did replace the older Maxwell-based GeForce 940 MX while offering specifications and performance identical, if not sometimes exceeding, the desktop Pascal-based GT1030. Announced back in the first half of 2017, the chip is a decent GPU based on its performance metric, which gets the job done quite a bit better than an iGPU. It has been widely adopted by many laptop manufacturers, but the chip has been in the market for quite a long time, and it does need to be replaced. Now, the latest leaks coming from video cards confirm that the GeForce MX250 graphics chip is indeed coming. Well, at least from what HP has posted in the spec sheet for their upcoming HP Zen 66 Pro 14 G2 notebook PC. Man, these laptop names get longer and longer. There are some basic details mentioned about the card, such as the name, which is confirmed to be the GeForce MX250, and that it's featuring two gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, which is also the standard for the GeForce MX150. However, there is no indication whether the GeForce MX250 is based on Pascal GPU architecture or Turing GPU architecture. And video cards mentioned that the TU-107 and TU-108 GPUs are already in the works, so entry-level solutions may be coming out really soon. We know that NVIDIA has already introduced their high-end and mainstream chips, the TU-102, 104, and 106, so now they would be moving into the more budget and entry-level chips. This listing also comes really close to CES 2019, which is just a few weeks away. There have already been several mobile GeForce RTX Max-Q variants that were leaked out a while ago, and if NVIDIA does plan to introduce a full-fledged mobility GeForce lineup at the event, the leaks would make a lot more sense. But having been using a laptop with a GeForce MX150, well, at least the 25 watt variant, because remember there was the 15 watt, I found it to be a surprisingly capable option for the more budget-oriented laptops or the Ultrabook class, especially when paired with something like the i5-8250U. But we would love to hear your thoughts on these more budget entry options. I for one find them welcome as it makes thinner notebooks quite a bit more capable than just what an iGPU can deliver for those who want to do some very light gaming on the go and really boost things when GPGPU functions are leveraged. Now with all that said, I'll leave you guys with some gameplay from my laptop running Monster Hunter World at 1080p low settings with the GeForce MX150. Now before you bash the settings, remember this is only a 25 watt part. Also, TN panels are terrible, you'll see that in just a second in the corner. I really need to get an IPS ordered for this laptop. So. With all that out of the way, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one. I found this in the tent. It has a map in it. Well, part of one at least. Looks like we're right around here. The Research Commission's base of operations is here. This is where our ship was supposed to dock. For now, I think it would be best if we make our way to base. The map should help us find our way. Look, the Research Commission's headquarters. Come on, let's get going. According to the map, to get to HQ, we need to... Hmm...
Antonoths seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. It looks like we need to go around. Hmm, something's up. I had the scout flies memorize my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. Okay, the coast is clear. Let's get going while we still can. Hmm. this track. There's more over there. Let's check it out. 